Hello race fans and welcome back to race number five of the RWC season two racing series. Today we are racing here at Monza where unfortunately I guess I kind of jinxed us last race because the weather isn't perfect. It's a little, you know, it's a little cloudy outside. We might have a chance of rain. We might not. But either way, we're going to race regardless because that's just how we do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the race is going to start momentarily, roughly about 30 seconds, 20 seconds around that time frame. And we're going to jump straight into things. We're going to see who comes out on top today. So far, we have had a pretty diverse victory group. No one driver has won twice yet. So we will see if that might possibly change today or if someone else joins the podium. Speaking of first place, White's Garage qualified first. He's been killing it in qualifying for these races. Unfortunately, he hasn't been finishing uh, as tightly, but we'll see if that changes today. Vakonin is second, Nabrowski in third, Mystics in fourth, Project G fifth, Kudos Khalid sixth. We're having a bit of a change though. Dabrowski makes a mistake going into the first chicane here. So we've had a couple position changes already. So we will let all of that iron out before we go back through the grid. But Wyatt's Garage already trying to make a gap between him and second place. Wyatt's Garage not messing around. Uh, going into this race, he said that this race... Uh, not that he hasn't been putting his all in all the other races. But he said that he had a good feeling going into this race considering that he qualified on pole. Uh, he says he has a pretty good feeling that today might be the day that he gets his first career win for Chevy here in the RWC. We'll see if that bears fruit or if it'll be like his other races where he just doesn't quite get there. He has been finishing a lot better though this season as I've mentioned a few times throughout these first five races. He has been performing all around a ton better than he did in season one. And my goodness, look at that gap that he is creating between himself and second and third place. He's just really letting it all out here in, uh, in race number five. Uh, as you see there, there's our last race winner, Asidro in 16th place, having a drag race with Rice going into turn number eight. Uh, he will actually take 50, or, you know, he will defend 15th place as he has the inside line there. So, Wyatt's Garage currently in pole position with a very large gap as he goes into the front chicane. Bakona in second, Mystics third, Kudos in fourth, Project G making a move over the humps. Uh, I already lost my, my spot where I was at, that was actually quite crazy how he made that work uh that was quite quite the insane move there we actually have some cars coming out of the pits already which is interesting considering it's only lap two uh i didn't quite catch who all that was i believe it was lee fairly dumont a few others but yeah wise garage is all on his own Placonin, mystic stabrowski kudos project g mcgowan bowers camacho davi being your current top 10 however that seems to be changing quite quickly around this track so fairly lee sayas g's doc and dumont were your ones that hitted if i am not mistaken which again is very interesting considering it's only lap two but two of ten so they still have a lot of time and Wyatt's Garage just continuing to just drive away from the rest of the grid here. Very phenomenal performance so far on Monzo. McConan pulling away a little bit. Dabrowski making his way into third. Kudos Khalid in fourth. Mystics falling back to fifth. Project G looking to start fighting Mystics here. Going into turn eight yet again. Coming around for the third time out of ten. Wyatt's Garage actually just now making... Uh, the fastest lap pass so far this race. Bowers actually quickly taking it and Asidro taking it after him. 
Isidro putting down a 156.84. That is the fastest lap so far this race. Oh, very nicely done. As Isidro actually makes his way up to 11. Dabrowski making a mistake again. Holding up traffic now as well. Uh, not sure what happened there. Well, I mean, well, he went into the gravel, but not sure what exactly it did to his car to cause him to... Uh, what it looked like stall it, it looked like he stalled there after hitting the gravel so that will cost him a great deal of position and will also cost Bowers and Davi who got stuck behind him so I know they will not appreciate that at all uh, anyway Fairly and Lee going into the pits again I believe not sure what's going on with them. They must be having some vehicle issues that they're trying to sort out on the fly, but it is costing them a tremendous amount of time. Um, McConan and Mystics battling for second and third place. Kudos looking to join the fight. Project G actually falling back a little bit because Project G uh, was behind Mystics. Er, Maybe I'm looking at this wrong because so many different things are happening at one time. But regardless, Mystics is attacking McConan for the second place spot going into turn number eight. It seems turn number eight seems to be the turn or position that passes. As you can see behind Project G, Besnard going into sixth place, passing up McGowan. Camacho looking to make a move as well, coming down the front straight. Mystics actually going into the pits this time around as well as Kudos. So the both of them will go into the pits, so they will lose some positions. We will let the grid readjust here before getting an updated position count. Haley making a move on Dobby. Would you look at that? Haley making a move for 10th place. Very nice by her. Haley still looking for a another high. Uh, finishing position because I don't, I don't believe she's had a top five since season one and she has yet to have a victory so hopefully this season uh, we can see that for Haley and Team Honda as Team Honda unfortunately definitely have been at the bottom of the barrel as far as this series is concerned Ooh, Mystic's making a mistake there going into the gravel as Dabrowski has done. And Dabrowski will do it again. I don't know what's going on with Dabrowski, but he's just having a very hard time with that turn one chicane, or, or you know, that, that front chicane. Uh, and it's costing him dearly this race, but who it is not costing is Wyatt Garage, who I'm pretty sure this is the longest he's led a race his entire career so far in the RWC. So this is very nice to see. I actually missed something. G's dog actually also claimed the fastest lap with a 150.283. So he is now holding the fastest lap time for this race. Wyatt's Garage will go into the pit this time around, which makes sense because he, you know, he hasn't pitted yet. So hopefully um, his team does a good job with this pit stop and he doesn't fall behind too, too much. McConan will be your new leader. Project G in second, McGowan in third. That is your podium here on lap five of 10. Davi will take fourth. Violet Dragon will take fifth. She will close out your top five this time around. We'll see who will take sixth. We'll see if White's Garage can get out in time. Uh, it seems G's Doc will take the sixth place spot. Nice garage exiting the pits now, but it won't be before Saez takes the seventh place spot. So Wyatt's garage will fall back to eighth. So still in the top ten. He still has five left to go, so he can you know he definitely has time to get back to the front. Mystics with a very bold move, the same as Project G earlier in this race. Ooh, Besnar gets into the gravel unfortunately and his car looks to stall and he holds up the broski talk about karma rice will go on the outside and he will get three free positions because of that 
Michael Rice now up to 12th place. Besnar 13th. Dabrowski 14th. Camacho 15th. Isidro 16th. Bauer 17th. Fairly. Or excuse me. Haley 18th. Fairly 19th. And Lee now in 20th position. So Project G now with the lead. It'd be very interesting to see Project G get another victory considering that he got his first career win at the Urban Ring just two races ago. Uh, but I don't believe Project G has pitted yet, so he's probably going to go into the pit. Yep, there it is. There's the signal. So Project G, Vakonin, McGowan will enter the pits this time around, so he will forfeit his pole position. I'm assuming Davi and Violet Dragon. Yeah, Davi's going in. Let's see if Violet Dragon... Yep, she's going in. G's dog is probably gonna go in. Yep, there, okay. He, wow, he gave that signal very late. Uh, Saez. Saez will stay out. So Saez will be your new leader. Wyatt's Garage in second. Mystic's third. Kudos will be fourth. Wyatt's Garage actually going for the move on the front straight. Trying to take the pole position back, and he will. He will secure it before going into the chicane, which is definitely the best case scenario. But Saya is looking for a switch back. They both make a little bit of contact, a little bit more contact, but Wyatt's Garage will hold on to the pole position. Very nicely done by Wyatt's Garage. So he will hold on to pole. Saez will be in second. Mystics will move up to third. Kudos Khalid will fall back and forth. Rice making his way all the way up to fifth. So he will close out the top five. Dumont in sixth. Besnard in seventh. However, Besnard looking like he wants to make a move. Camacho eighth. Dabrowski ninth. McGowan closing out the top ten. Vaconi in 11. Project G rejoining the field. 11th and 12th, Project, ooh, Project G tried to go for a move, but Faconin slammed the door on him. Barely in 13th, Haley 14th, Davi 15th, Lee 16th, a little bit of contact between the two as Lee tries to go for a move, but Davi is able to defend. Violet Dragon in 17th, G's Doc in 18th. Bowers in 19th, and then Cedro closing out the field now, which was a little unexpected. As we make our way back to the front, Wyatt's Garage still holding on to the lead, actually pulling away as he did earlier in this race, so, you know, making making a much needed gap to protect his first place spot. That C7 Corvette really coming alive. Saya is actually going into the pits, so Mystics will get a free position as well as Kudos and essentially the rest of the field, whoever is able to pass up Saya as well, he's in the pits. So Rice will move up to fourth, Besnard will move up to fifth. He will now close out your top five. Kudos Khalid looking on the inside to go on a move for Mystics, but he just doesn't quite outbreak him. Mystics will hold on to his second place spot. As I mentioned, Besnard closing out the top five. Camacho sixth, Dabrowski seventh, McGowan eighth. Haley will move up to ninth, so she'll be back in the top ten. And Davi will close out the top ten. Violet Dragon 11, Vakonin 12th. Project G up to 13th, G's Doc 14th. Bowers 15th, Saez will rejoin the field in 16th, Cedro 17th, Dumont 18th, Fairly 19th, and Lee, having pitted, will close out the field again in 20th position. Lap 7 of 10, just a few more laps to go here at Monza. Not sure what I just watched, but uh, that's one way to go through that chicane, I suppose. But anyway, a few more laps to go. Wyatt's Garage in a very comfortable first place. 
with a very large gap between him and second place. Second place being your defending champion, Mystics, with Team Aston Martin. Wise Garage coming across the start finish line. And I stand corrected. He will actually go into the pits as well as Mystics and Kudos Khalid. Okay. So your podium will enter the pits. Rice will stay out. So Rice will take the lead for the first time today. Besnard will take second. Camacho third. So that is your new podium. Very interesting change in positions here. I was definitely not expecting that. Camacho going for a move. Breaking really late. He will essentially dive bomb in a way into the chicane and it will work out for him as he takes second place. Very ballsy move by Camacho, but it pays off. As he is now in second place, Besnard third. But going forth, Haley in the top five now. White's Garage will rejoin the field in sixth, so not bad. Camacho trying to make a move on Rice. He tries to dive bomb again, but Rice protects his line. But Camacho is unable to commit to it. But Camacho trying again, and he does it this time. He goes on the inside and he takes pole position from Rice. Camacho is on a mission here late in this race. Definitely was not expecting that from Camacho in the 4 GT, but here we are, drag race. What is going on here? Camacho just coming out of nowhere with these baller moves here. And he's, he's secured first place. So Rice will fall to second. Besnard still in third. Wow. Or actually, it looks like Rice is falling back. It looks like Besnard's going to make a move as well. And he does. Besnard will pass Rice. So Rice will fall back to third. And Besnard will take second. Unbelievable. Crazy performance here on uh, lap number eight. Uh, oh, you have got to be kidding me. Camacho and Besmar both enter the pits on lap number nine. They, they pull those fantastic moves to then go into the pits. Okay, so Rice will retake the lead with two laps to go. McGowan will take second. Wyatt's Garage will now move up to third, so Wyatt's Garage is back on the podium, so that's very nice to see for Chevy, considering how their performance has been this race so far. It would have been very upsetting uh, with how well Wyatt's Garage has been doing for him to finish low on the grid, so it's, it's, it's very nice to see that he's back on podium. Haley in fourth place. This is actually the highest that she's been in quite a little while now, so that's kind of nice to see by Haley and Team Honda. Bowers in fifth place, closing out the top five. Mystics in 6th, Davi in 7th, Besnard currently in 8th position. We'll see... Violet Dragon is in 9th, and Vakonin currently is closing out the top 10. Camacho rejoins the field in 11th, so right outside the top 10. But if he, if he can make the same moves that he just did for pole position, I don't see why he can't get back into the top 10. So hopefully he can before this race is over. Two laps to go, as mentioned, uh, as the rest of your field goes by here. Oh, Bauer is actually retaking the fastest lap with a 149.379. Wow, that is very impressive. So Bowers will hold the fastest lap with two laps to go. We'll see if anyone breaks it right here in these last two laps. But if not, Bowers will get an extra point for the fastest lap here. Rice crossing the start finish line for the final time today. Can he hold on? Wife Garage with a 146, 769. He is not messing around. He has one lap. Can he possibly win this race? He's still on podium already in third place. Things are about to get quite serious here, ladies and gentlemen as your grid comes across the chicane for the final time. Camacho all the way up to 7th. He was just in 11th. 
Camacho being an absolute magician here in the final leg of this race. Uh, unbelievable performance by him. Uh, just, just in these final few laps. That is a huge jump by Camacho. But, um... Nonetheless, so heading back to the top, Rice still holding on to first position. If he wins here, this would be his second victory of this season, and this would be his third victory overall in his career. Wise Garage challenging McGowan for second place. Will he be able to pass? He's looking on the inside. He's on his corner panel. They're looking to be side by side. They are side by side. Wise Garage gets ahead of him. Can he secure the second place though? Yes, he will. He actually pushes McGowan out a little bit. But he will secure the second place. And now it's just him and Rice with the final turn up ahead. Turn number eight. White's Garage on the outside. He closes it on the inside. He tries to close the door on Rice. Are you kidding me? He overtakes him on the outside. Rice has the inside line, the better line. But Wyatt's Garage doesn't care. And he passes Rice on the final turn for his first career victory. Him and Team Chevrolet. Holy crap. What a way to win it. Wow, this is okay. So this this is your final uh, finishing grid. I don't even I'm too blown away to even read through this So I mean you you race fans can can see it on your screen Unbelievable finish. We're definitely gonna have to get a conversation with White's garage before they pack things up unbelievable race Super entertaining there at the end. We hope you all enjoyed. We hope to see y'all at the next race peace